Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, another Wednesday, another shave, and hasn't it come around quick? We're at the peak of the week, which is good if you're in work, but not if you're on holiday, like me. How is everybody doing? We've got some good stuff to talk about. We've got a good shave lined up. If you're new, thank you, please subscribe. If you're returning, welcome back. Okay, we'll go through the stuff first. Let's get this. I was going to bring a brush in to give you some kind of perspective, but look at it. There you go. The Razor Rock F 430 millimeter. That is some size of a brush, guys. It's absolutely huge. 30 millimeter noir not. Look at it. it. Oh, it just feels really, really soft. Look at this. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that. In the, it won't fit in, look, in the official John Shaves Super Soaker. I know you don't need to soak synthetics, but I like the ritual. Okay, we'll do the razor next. Here it is. You've seen it in the thumbnail. Have you picked out what it was? There you go. That's a Blackland Sabre. That's a Samurai Sabre. A Blackland set, but I was going to look, it's absolutely beautiful, guys. I, like all Blacklands, very well made, beautifully weighted. I went for the non finished version again. I really do like the uh, industrial marks on it. There's a base. If I show you the, the bolt that that screws into, it's only rounded at the top and the bottom and the middle. There, can you see it? It's flat. That's quite a unique feature. I'll put that on there. And the blade we're going to be putting in, obviously it's a gem style blade, but these are personas, gem personas. And these were sent to me by Flash Boredom. Cheers, Flash. How are you doing, buddy? Take it easy. Um, and we'll put that in. There you go. It's got little cut out notches there and there. Can you see them? For the holes of the gem razor to fit in. So we'll put that on there, and then that one goes on there, and it all clamps together really, really well. Absolutely, sorry. It is a bit finicky if you've got big, fat fingers like me. Now, right, come on. Look at this. There you go. And there it is. No idea what the blade gap is. Um, right, it's, where does it show you? It must show you, but this is the two. Actually, let's, come on. Not there's two little dots somewhere. There they are, on the inside of the base plate. Can you see them? The two little dots because you can get one with one dot, which is milder, and one with two dots, which is a more aggressive one, which is this one. Let's get that, if it'll fit, in the John Shea Super Soaker. And then we'll get to the star of the show, guys. Here it is, check this out. Dayshaw, artisan, shaving soap maker, Bohemian honey. I had to stop myself saying Bohemian Rhapsody there. Bohemian honey. Look at that, guys. Absolutely beautiful. There's the pour. Oh, you get that. You get that whiff of honey. There it is. I've got the matching after splash. Look at this bottle, guys. The bottle in itself is a work of art. There it is. Desho Bohemian honey. Um. And we're going to balm up with some Burt's Bees because that's quite honey scented too. Uh, but here it is, look, on the Day Show website. I will put, it's, it's the light, they put a new light in, guys, and it's really bright. There you go. There's the website. I will put the website under this video, but I'll just give you the notes here uh, for the Day Show Artisan Shaving Products Bohemian Honey. The top notes comprised are birch tar and a touch of spice. Powerful heart notes of honey and myrrh follow. The background is made up of notes of sandalwood, tonka bean and oud. 
that offer that necessary darkness. Now I get the honey and I get the sandalwood and right at the end you do get that oud. And now I'm not a lover of oud but this is fantastic, it smells amazing. I'll tell you for why, he's right, the oud gives it just that, I wouldn't say darkness, I would say that it's like a, like a naturalness like an absolute naturalness it's like if someone you knew took you on a hot summer's day to harvest the honey from their bees and you would get that smell of the earth and the honey and so on very natural i'm looking forward to using it so we'll wet the face we'll crack on can you see the wall behind me oh i've had a nightmare trying to get it's coming off slowly but surely I wanted to have it decorated by now. I haven't even got all the paper off. There you go. Mammoth. Look at this. Straight away, guys. It's a hard soap. I would put the scent strength at about seven on this. Right off the bat, I can smell it now. It's very aromatic, very scent rich. And if you like honey, it's a no brainer. It, for me, it is a no brainer. Here we go. Look, look at the size of that. Oh my word. And yeah, you do. You get that oud. Mmm. Absolutely wonderful. I like it. And there wasn't a lot of loading there, was there, guys? And yet, yeah, look at this. Very, very rich. Very, very creamy. Got to be careful. Absolutely. Oh, absolute ton of lather from that load that just took literally a few seconds didn't it and no problem standing that brush up there you go guys very 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 rich we'll put that back on there and it feels quite slick as well i thought the blackland saber clean off here look at this I thought the Blackland Sabre would go well because if you look on Dayshield's website and you read the, the man that I've forgotten his name I do apologise his ethos um, and what he's about uh, it's absolutely fantastic I should really have used a Tataran and Dacia but I used it recently if I'd have known when I used it I was getting this I'd have waited and gone for a proper Japanese theme but hey we got a Sabre didn't we let's have a look and see where we go. Just checking. <laughs> you do have to dial this one in, guys. It's a beast, an absolute beast of a razor. Okay, so I would say when you lather up, the scent on this, for me, drops back slightly. I would take us from a seven to about to about a six and a half, uh, a five and a half. But look at this, guys. It's very, very slick indeed. It smells fantastic. Um, and just reading from the website, I would recommend you go to the website. He only puts out six or so sets a year of each sort, and he doesn't do a big range. But his soaps look absolutely phenomenal, guys. And it is the true definition of an artisan. So he only makes six sets a year. But he's got about... I think he's got about eight, maybe a, maybe ten sets. I, I looked, but I've forgotten, I'm sorry. So he's doing... 30 odd soaps a year and they're not extortionate prices you know they're very very well priced but you're getting a true artisan handmade product with seriously good stuff guys I mean this is good stuff oh oh wow yeah very slick and you can feel that it's reflected in your skin so check it out check his website out even if you don't buy anything just check his website out i'll leave it linked under this so that said 
How are you all doing? Things getting back to normal for me. Um, yeah, had trouble getting that paper off. It's no biggie. It, 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 it's no biggie. Uh, I've had other stuff to do. I took the week off to decorate. And I've got to be honest, I didn't take the week off just to decorate. I kind of got all the things I've been doing. Spent a bit of time with Angela today. Do a few other little... A few little projects around the house, you know. And stuff to catch up on. We've been living in the one room for three weeks, so as you can imagine, there's just stuff to do, you know. But enough. How have you been doing? Oh. See, that's talking and shaving. Did I just catch myself? I said that once. I said, oh, did I just catch myself? Thought I'd caught myself. Carried on talking. I hadn't, but I did. When I carried on talking. <laughs> oh, this. This Blackland Sabre is some serious piece of kit. As are all Blacklands, you know. And the new, the new ones come out. Uh, has it come out yet? Or is it being released at the end of this month or something? The era. Hmm. Wow. You can actually... Hmm. Do you know now the hair's gone, guys? It might sound crazy, but I'm applying this to my skin. I can actually feel the nourishment going into my skin. It just feels... I've got no vested interest in this company. Um, I don't know the, the, the man that runs it. I have spoken to him via email. I can tell he's a nice guy. But other than that, nothing. But uh, these... They're so... It's very... Very nice. Oh. Giving you all the glide, all the cushion, all the protection that you need. And like I said, it's... It's skin foodie. And he is the very definition of an artisan, you know? Uh, I think he does judo. I used to do judo all years and years ago. I did, uh, I, I was very small all the way through school. I mean, I was small. I'm not now. Six foot tall and what, 250 pounds? But at school I was small and I got bullied. So I, Started boxing. And I did boxing for about a year. But it wasn't for me. I'm not the person now that I was then. But then it wasn't violent enough. It was all exercise and bag work and so on. I wanted to get in, I wanted to get fighting, so. I took up, someone said judo, took up judo, didn't like it, only did a couple of classes, went to karate, did karate for about four months, no, just once again it wasn't violent enough, I wanted to get in, get in the mix, get fighting, you know, so, when I was about 16, I started Taekwondo and was trained by a world champion no less for about three years. I've lathered up and all I'm doing is pickups. Oh, pick up time, baby. Come on. That's the power of waffles, that guy. You should have told me. You cut me deep, Shrek. Well, yeah, so I think the guy that does it, I think he's into judo. But there you go. That's us. 
<laughs> oh, let's get this on. Come on. Come on. We did okay, didn't we, guys? Oh, lean in. That smelled fantastic. And that. Oh, my word. Look at this. I know you can. I know Chris is high on CDB. Um, I don't think he evaluated. He didn't evaluate the post. And I'm doing like a little mini evaluation now. And look at this. Look at this. My skin, and it all's done like under a. My skin feels fantastic, guys, and there is not a hair that is completely bald. That is as bald as a baby's bum. And some of you might say, yes, I know, it looks like one as well. Here you go, let's put some of this on. Look at this. At the back, so I don't want anything to. Whoa. And there's some good stuff in this, guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is like medicinal honey. Oh yes, I'm getting those spices now. And getting that that tar, getting that pine birch pine tar, and the spices now, in with the honey. It smells absolutely fantastic. Mm, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. Isn't it amazing how the notes you don't pick out when you get buy a set like this, the notes you can't seem to pick out in the soap always seem to be there in the splash. Absolutely wonderful that. Just round it off completely. And Burt's Bees, somebody gave me this. I think was it um Dennis up in Oregon? Was it you that sent me this? Dennis? I know someone did and I can't for the life of me remember who it was. So apologies to you. There you go. And that's us. That's our shave. Thanks for checking with me guys. Whoa. Mm, yes. That complements that splash absolutely perfectly. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for all your support. All the likes and all the comments. Absolutely wonderful. All helps analytics which in turn help YouTube to promote you alongside other videos and then it kind of becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy you know the more people watch uh, the more people that will see it and the more people will watch and so on so your, your, your likes and your comments and all that and your views are all greatly appreciated look at this look I know the light's not great guys but wow my skin feels fantastic and I think that's a combination of the cream, the splash, and then the bur the, the burst bees. That's us. Thanks for listening. Look after yourselves. And remember, <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Come on, think of something. Think of something. Be yourself, because everybody else is taken. So be the best version of you, and be the one to show some love. Look after yourselves, and I will see you on Saturday for the Saturday shave. Thanks guys, bye.